If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We post new episodes every week, and we'd hate for you to miss one. Most things in this world aren't big enough. Hey! Give me that shack meat. <laughs> and I wanted the big breakfast. He wants the shack meat. I wanted a big breakfast. I wanted a Pepsi Big Slam. I guarantee that's what this commercial is for. Yeah. Oh shit! That's what you wanted for breakfast? Pepsi big enough to handle the biggest thirst. Hey, life grand. Yeah, he's a frame. I remember the story you told me about the kid who was drinking a Pepsi Big Slam and then you smacked the bottom of the bottle and it like hit him in the fucking teeth. And he started crying. <laughs> but the kid was like a drama queen, dude. Remember, like, he got really mad at somebody, like, one, like, because he was trying to sleep at a slumber party, but it was like, dude, it's fucking, like, a Saturday, and, like, we're all hanging it's out. It's a slumber place. party. And, Will like, you shut up, please? No, he, was, like, he was, like, trying to sound all, like, evil and mean. He's like, woo, doo, like, talking to this, like, <laughs> He doesn't look weird though. He always wore fucking suits for school pictures. Oh fucking no. Fucking Josh. Ugh, that's fucking cringy douche. as fuck. But yeah, I remember he was like, we were sitting in the cafeteria, yeah, he was drinking a fucking, he like had a Pepsi Big Slam like packed in his lunch bag. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah, and he was like drinking it like an asshole. And, like, oh yes, had it like straight this, out. And I just like, I was like, ding. <laughs> <laughs> but then he apparently conjured up the fucking evil inside and he started. Mm -hmm. Well, that was, that was, that was next year at a, oh. at a birthday party when he. You fucking off that that no that I didn't the beginning of the, uh, end. the old dead Larry Aiken did that shit oh shit that was the same slumber party where Larry fell asleep and I poured a stink bomb on him yep yeah, that was an eventful party holy shit oh yeah, yeah cause eventually I, cause, we'll yeah, hear all party. about that party well yeah cause that was the same night I outed him for pissing in my bed when he <laughs> <stayed> in <laughs> oh my god in front of everyone you gave him fucking <laughs> no quarter well cause he was, he was being a dick to me, so I was like, oh, okay, you're gonna make fun of me, huh? Well, what was he making fun of you for? Uh, he kept calling me Deldo to big laughs, and I was like, well, wow. everyone's laughing at it, so. Oh. Pull out my ace in the hole, you pissed in my bed. And you asked me if I'm gonna have some? It was just a question. <laughs> you and your questions. When are you gonna stop asking so many questions? Sorry. Well, it's just you ask too many questions. I'm friendly. Something about having candy just out in the open in a fucking candy dish grosses me out. It reminds me of when, like I told you the story, when like, oh yeah, every week they bring a box of donuts on Friday. Except for the one day where someone decides to bring a box of fucking Dunkin' Munchkins. So it's like, oh good, now I'm just picturing everyone's dirty fucking hands reaching into a goddamn box of donut holes. Yeah, I absolutely want to do that now. Yeah. That's all I picture when I see a fucking dish of unwrapped open-ass candies. Mm -hmm. I've just visualized everyone's fucking dirty-ass hands digging around for the one they think tastes the best. Mark, like they taste you, different. I think you need to check your germ privilege. Oh yeah, that's true. I haven't really considered that. It is pretty elitist of me to figure. <laughs> it's classist. Yeah. I don't wanna. I don't wanna share candy with the ruffians, <laughs> with the lesser dance. Yeah. And in dreams we enter a fantasy world. With MTV, we can instantly enter such a fantasy world. Jerry Walker attempts to more Molly's Pomo shit. <laughs> yeah. Repurposing old footage. Yep. It's okay, Making I, new footage look like old footage. I wrote a paper in sociology class that got me in trouble because you know you wrote about. Postmodernism. I wrote about how how Columbine was my generation's Woodstock. And Holy shit! Got sent to the principal's office. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't when people like and like yeah, because Woods because fucking Columbine was cool. It was like no, just like the social circumstances yeah. mm. that resulted from those things had the same impact. Was that a high school class? Yes. Hmm. High school sociology. Huh. Yeah, but it was a dumbass class. Yeah. It was like, oh, you're going to do a book report. Oh, cool. I mean, that's all sociology is. I'm going to do a book okay. report on the cat in the hat. Really? Which, yeah, and I did it from a Freudian analysis and made it all about incest. We now return to the TBS bugs of all. You're going to be squashing bugs? Bugs of Bundy? <laughs> bugs Bundy? <laughs> Can tell, is that good? I mean, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. So I'm just picturing, like, all the pictures of, like, Ted Bundy, like, on trial and everything, like, <laughs> sitting there, like, in the courtroom. 
I just picture Bugs Bunny. <laughs> okay. With the same stern, blank expression of on his face. Holy shit. I'm Loopin' Louie. Loopin' Louie. I'm out of control. Do it. Listen, Barry. I'm out of control. I'm masturbating in front of women at comedy clubs. <laughs> oh, Loopin' Louie. I'm Loopin' Louie. What a piece of shit, Louie. Why are you just terrorizing chickens? Poor chickens. Oh, I had this game. No, you didn't. I did. Holy shit. What is this, Popomatic Trouble? Yeah, Knockout. Oh, I thought it was called Rammer Hammer. <laughs> so it's just Jenga Tetris. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. With the rammer hammer. Stack with the rammer hammer. Oh. Did you and all your friends put on your vests and play knockout? Are they all wearing vests? Did you and your dad put on vests and play knockout? Yeah, friends? Yeah, I was about to say. Those. This reminds me that earlier, during the Loop and Louie commercial, I was thinking about how funny it would be if... Because the whole point of the thing is, this pilot has lost control of his plane. <laughs> if there's just like a little speaker that's just like... <laughs> the whole game is just screaming we're, we're in terror. Going, and then, but then it gets to a point where it's like, we're going down, tell my Oh my god, yeah, he just realizes. Yeah. He just... He makes peace with himself. Starts yeah. picking up signals from your little sister's small man escape. <laughs> 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 oh shit, it's Storm Shadow, we're Snake Eyes! Gung-ho, 100% marine, highly decorated, the ultimate fighting machine, 12 inches tall, it's a whole new way to play! That's your son! And all that's left is his mask! I wonder what he looks like! Find out with the G.I. Joe Hall of Fame collection! Oh! So, that's Destro Hall of Fame. It's a cardboard. Why does this song sound like What a Fool Believes? He eats golden grams for breakfast! Sun kissed with a not good vibration. Sun kissed or until the taste sensation. Sensation, sun kissed good. Just say good about third as many times. Instead of good, 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 good just go good, 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 good. You know what I hate about that song is the false finish it has on the original. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Uh, you would. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind false finishes. I, I tend to like them. You like edging. <laughs> don't we all? And when you take a really close look, is that Jeffrey Jones? Gonna eat it. No, it's from uh, Newhart. I never remember his name though. All oh, the doors can open. I love it. Oh, oh my God! The the trunk best. Does the hood? Tell me, guy from Newhart, does the hood oh open God. too? Is that can a, I actually uh, see the engine? Your child can collect pocket cars or play with them or just park them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the cat! The cat's scared! Oh my god! What? Hello, Charlie. Daddy, can we go? Can we go? Now you can drive to Africa. Thanks, Stu Pickles. Oh, yeah. Who was also on New Heart. Stu Pickles was? The actor who played him, yeah. <laughs> Another cartoon character. <laughs> he just showed up in some weird, like, dancing with fucking... Oh my god, it's Frank and Bear. They call him Stu Hart. Well, hey, Rara. <laughs> hey, Rara. Hey, Rara, Bobber. Hey, Rara, Frank and Bear, Rara. You show you a uh, nerve hold. <laughs> Count Chocula. Oh, Wait, I thought you had to invite Count Chocula in. Well, he's in his house, I think. No, he, he entered. just showed up at Frankenberry's joint. They live together. And they hate each other. Oh my god. You did it. You did it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. They were zooming in on the kid who <laughs> was losing his mind. <laughs> they found him out. <laughs> He's like that. He's like the guy in Jacob's Ladder. He, those Vietnam experiments are coming back to him. Obvious planning is more than just arranging desks and file cabinets. Consider function. Who is doing what? And traffic. Where does the activity happen? And aesthetics. Your visual working environment. The truth is that these elements not only define your company image, but also build productivity and morale. Does it? Yeah, these all look blank and muted and fucking gross. What did people use before desks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Someone's oh, someone's oh, bouncing oh. back. <laughs> Asking the hard hitting questions. Oh shit! Is oh, it's time to hack. Twenty two after these messages for these hot dogs. After you're done eating that hot dog, we go. <laughs> oh boy! Wow. Good night. <laughs> Fuck's sake. And I'm going on, like, way less sleep than you guys. You don't know. How many sleep do you have? I'm going on five hours of sleep. Me too! Well, who's crying now? Me. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Just hit it. This feels like a YouTube channel. Oh my god, this is absolutely terrible. This feels like a YouTube channel. One man. One boat. One man, one boat, one shark. One man, one boat, one jar of worms. <laughs> one can of dinty mall beef stew. Safe when used as directed. What is it? Use the can of dinty mall stew only as directed, please. One jar of Use the jar of worms at your leisure. You can't buy any worms. Trust me. The bear. The wonder drug that works wonders. The wonder mm. drug that was made in Nazi laboratories. Oh no. <laughs> as far as I know, McCormick Black Pepper, not made in the Nazi laboratory. That's good. Probably not. But it might as well have been because it's goddamn garbage. Pre ground pepper is the fucking dribbling right, shit. Man, check your class privilege. <laughs> Can't all afford pepper. <laughs> I'm sorry, that guy's goofy ass face through the oh. strong, but beef does provide protein, iron, and B vitamins. I don't need two tiny slivers of beef, thank you. Two sliver, please. You have a lot to go on. Beef. <laughs> beef gives strength. Brought to you by beef. They really just should have stopped it. Beef. That's what I thought they were gonna do. Beef. <laughs> beef, beef. <laughs> Got the keys to them. Beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says, mm. uh, yeah, that's what I did, but I was like, mm. You can play back through the eyepiece or a TV. Whoa. Yeah, you got damn right. That's a simulation. That's oh my god. That shit through a fucking oh, I gotta drop it out of the damn hot air balloon. This $5,000 camera. I thought they were gonna say 5,000 pound. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That too. The kid was like, yeah, yeah thanks, Pop. <laughs> the kid falls out with it. <laughs> it dislocates his shoulder. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. What happened? Yeah, why did it shift over? It's been shifted over. What's it? What's hiding back there? Another hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> a whole other plate of hot dogs. Taylor Swift. I Is thought cheese? the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift bumped think, her head and then rubbed was. cheese on the car seat. <laughs> oh wait, uh, I think it was like supposed to be tape. No, oh, that was it's fucking not cheese. Taylor. I thought she was trying to demonstrate how hot like seat like gets. <laughs> Melt well, a like, slice of American cheese yeah. and then brush a barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> Put some mustard on your coat. Some guac. Oh Here's my guac. god. Oh, come on. Yeah, look it at that. Like it's like any... it's a totally different chair. Mark, how do you feel about this squish? I hate it. <sighs> but wait. Cheese? But wait. There's more. Wait, what, what just happened? It's just a totally different bag now. Oh my now. god. This valuable fabric repair kit. It's free. Oh, oh, here's some glue for your fucking six hundred dollar blazer. <laughs> yeah, no one at work will notice that. Why oh, you smell like glue? Especially when you brush up against the fucking cork board, <laughs> the blue smudge on, on someone's fucking lost dog. <laughs> I'm just gonna start throwing noodles at you guys to wake you up. <laughs> I wouldn't be so bad if my allergies weren't fucking with me. Ooh, the allergies, good. Like that guy in fucking my girl with my allergies. <laughs> What was his name fucking John Michael or John Thomas? Yeah, Dave Thomas. <laughs> That's why fucking Dave Thomas uh, passed away and wasn't in the commercials anymore. He was stung by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Not just one bee. It was a party bee. <laughs> he knocked him out and took his money. B movie too. Party bees in it. Oh no! That's gonna happen. Guaranteed, that will happen. Just because they desperately want the occur thing in the fucking movie, and they know it's it's gonna be cringy if someone else does it. You know, like for example, if Ellen were to do it, we need Cardi B to do it. And then they're like, "Well, wait a minute, she's already a B. Let's just do it." And then they called up John Ritter's daughter, whose name I forgot at the moment, because she was the B in the, that room number. 
And then Mel B. Uh huh. And then Maya yep. the B. And then, uh, <laughs> and then B- Babar Bar. Babar, King of the Elephants? Yeah. No. And then no. Uh, Lil Kim, because she was called the Queen B. And she uh, does a Beyonce. performance of Sloop John B. Beyonce. John, John B. Oh. <laughs> it shows up. John B. Grizzly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not Jambi from Jambi. From, it's it's just a fucking they just do like they just have a guy doing a bad Rasta impression. And he's the Jambi. Rob Zombie. <laughs> I just pictured you open like so I was like, oh I have a wish and the zombie box opens up and there's just one bee flying around in the box. <laughs> just bumping across the walls. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs>